PDF files. They're generally free for you to open and view, right? But when it comes to editing them or exporting them to different file formats or even annotating them, they act a little cocky. Now, Adobe says that if you want to be able to do all of that, it's going to cost you about $20 a month. What if I told you, you could do all of this and much more for less than $4 a month? Enter UPDF, also the sponsor of today's video. And just give me a chance to show you how good it really is. Now, obviously, you know, you can just open and view PDF files like you would on any other reader. But then you could jump between various aspect ratios in just one click. You could move into slideshow mode. And within the slideshow mode, there's a presenter's view so you know what's coming next and you've got all your slides on the left. And you can obviously jump pages with very simple tabs. There's also a search option here that works really fast and it tells you the number of times a page has a keyword that you searched for. You could even apply case sensitivity and whole words as a filter which I think makes it really powerful. But let's talk about its editing capabilities. So here's the option to edit and as soon as you click on it, UPDF automatically identifies text, links, images that you can change. And then to change anything, you just double click on it and you can change that text. You do get some formatting options like changing the font size, the font type and even the color. And even changing an image is so easy. Just right click on the image, click on replace and then choose another image and it's just going to replace automatically. You don't even have to do anything. Now, in addition to editing, you can also annotate. So, you know, if you're reviewing content or you want to add comments or you just want to leave notes, it's good for all of that. For that, go into comment mode and now you get all these options, you know, to comment, highlight, strike, underline or even create text and just slap them onto the PDF. So let's say for highlighting, you choose the color. By the way, you can choose a custom color and then click and drag over the text. That's it. You want to underline something in that squiggly manner. Again, just choose the color and then click and drag over the text. There you go. You can also add a sticky note. So in case you want to leave a more prominent comment or an important note, and you can then obviously just, you know, change its color. So just double click on it and it's going to open the sticky comment again. And yeah, just change the color. And if you're done, delete. And you know, you actually get all sorts of tools like the ability to, you know, just draw or, you know, use a shape and draw around a specific image or even text. You can use these stickers to sort of say something's revised or something's approved or something is pending. You can do all of that. And then, yeah, you can just add, you know, different kind of stickers like these stickies, almost like post-it notes. And you can add text and just sort of have it there just to make a more prominent sticky note than the one that I showed you earlier. Now, obviously, you also get the ability to organize pages. So on the left side, you'll see organize pages. It shows you all the PDF pages that are there in the file. You can select a few, you can delete them, or you could insert more PDF pages from, let's say, another file. So I'm just going to choose a file. There you go. It's that simple. And by the way, there's also a batch functionality. So you can use that to, let's say, combine multiple PDF files together into, like, merge them into one PDF file. So you can do all of that using this. All right, so far, we know that we can view, edit, search, annotate uh, PDF files, and even organize pages within a PDF file. But wait, there's actually more. So let's say you use your phone to take a picture of a document and you saved it as a PDF file on your phone. You could actually convert that into a machine formatted, editable, readable PDF file using OCR scanning in UPDF. So for example, I'm going to open a PDF file, which actually the content is not readable. So if I just hover around it, you see I don't get that cursor. But if I click on OCR scanning over here on the right side, and it gives me two options, right? A searchable PDF or just an image only PDF. I'm going to go with searchable PDF. And then once I go through that process, it's going to convert it into a readable PDF. And I'm just going to open that and there you go. As you can see, I can just highlight stuff now and I can edit this PDF if I want to. That's how powerful it is. By the way, UPDF also allows you to convert a PDF into all of these possible formats. So that's great. And you can also compress your PDF. So if you go into reduce file size option, now this is a 5 MB file. You get all of these options from maximum to low. And if I click on low, it can go down to less than 1 MB. So that's great. You can also password protect your PDF document and even set permissions in a way that no one can edit the document at a later stage. So you can go through all of those options in here. And by the way, you can upload all the documents to their very own cloud service, which is called UPDF Cloud. And then if you do have UPDF installed on your phone, your tablet, your computer, 
uh, on the web, you can then access your files all synced up anytime, anywhere. I mean, if this isn't everything you need to be able to work with PDF files, then I don't know what is. And you get all of this at a fraction of a cost uh, as compared to what you may end up paying for something like the Adobe Acrobat DC or PDF Escape. So yeah, definitely try it out. It's available for all your devices, whether it's Windows devices, Android or Apple devices. And I'm going to leave a link in the description, which can get you a 50% discount on the overall price. And so at this price point, this PDF solution is almost like a no-brainer. All right, and that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this video was really helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.